Hi, so I'm going to record this generically. Um, the one student sent me an email or asked for this question through uh, my up and math. So I'm going to record this. I don't see where I see the person's name. So I'm going to record this so I can post it for everybody because I'm sure the other people will have some questions about this. So this is a piecewise defined function. And when a piecewise defined function, it says on different parts of the domain, you're going to use a different function to graph it. So what we're seeing here, this says when x is less than or equal here, let me get a, a pointer going, or not a pointer, but let's get a, a drawing tool going. This says for, for y is going to be y is going to be equal to two, as long as x is less than or equal to negative one. So what I'll do when I have to graph these, I'll put a dotted line through the breaking, like see, I put that dotted line at negative one because that's when I change functions. I mean, less than negative one, I use that piece. And then between negative one and one, I use this piece. And then when it's greater than one, I, I use that. As, so I have another breaking point here in, at x equals one. So on paper, this is this is not too bad to do. Trying to get my up in math to understand when's it filled in, when it's not, it's hard to do. I don't always get this right myself. So if if you don't get it all right, but you know you got the right graph, you can ask me a question through the messaging board or you can say, you know, Dan, I take a look at this. Is this right? Um, I don't usually ask these kind of questions on a quiz. So, I mean, if they're it's on a quiz, I'm going to have you do it on paper, you know, and send it to me. Um, won't worry about my open math doing it. So anyway, so I digress. So Y is equal to the horizontal, horizontal line. Y equals two as long as I'm less than or equal to negative one. So I'm going to fill in because it's inclusive of negative one. I'm going to go to the left there. And while I'm at it, why don't I go to the right of one? I only do this because this, this problem always does this. So when it gets greater than one, y is one. So I'm going to go to an open circle, add x equals one, and I'm going to go to the right, horizontal line, y equals one, right? Then I get a graph, this linear function in the middle. And, and if it's been a while, negative one x plus one, right? This is a y-intercept of one. So I'm going to graph that at one. And then the slope is negative one, so I'm going to go down one over one. And notice how it includes this function. I mean, you're supposed to be using this function when x is equal to one. So I'm going to put a colored in dot right there, a filled in dot, because I went down one over one. Now to go backwards, I go up one over one, but that's not inclusive. But because it was already filled in, at one, we really can't see a difference. So here's this line that looks like this. And that's what their graph looks like. Now, will my, would my open math take that? I don't know. I mean, it's so wonky sometimes. <laughs> uh, but I would try, I don't know, do this. And if it marks it off because it doesn't like the field in or open, you know, as long as you're correct, you know, that's no problem. If you're having trouble with where it's filled in or open, you know, give a yell. It, it's it's not it's not filled in for the one because I'm not supposed to be using that piece when X is equal to one. See, that's why I had that open circle there. Here, let me get a pointer going. See, so I, that's open there because that doesn't include X equals one. So that piece, that Y value, it's unfortunate they're doing one and one here, but. That's what they did. Okay, and it is filled in here. That so we're supposed to use this piece when it is inclusive of one. So I filled it in there, and there's my negative slope. All right. Okay. Hopefully that helps.